this session i will be explaining about cavitation and bubble theory cavitation cavitation and bubbles theory i can explain liquid dielectric breakdown by using cavitation and bubbles theory that means a small kind of bubbles present inside the liquid dielectric material that results in the dielectric breakdown presence of small bubble okay presence of presence of small bubble small bubble inside the liquid dielectric material bubbles i'll be writing in liquid dielectrics in liquid dielectrics bubbles will be small amount of bubble small bubble that will be present inside the liquid dielectric material uh, that results uh, liquid dielectric breakdown that is the main theme of the theory there are different reasons there are several reason for the bubble formation the first reason is gas pockets in the electrode surface presence of gas pockets presence of gas pockets in electrodes presence of gas pockets in the electrode that is the first reason the second reason is irregular surface of electrode irregular 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 surface of operating electrode operating electrode irregular surface third one is change in temperature and pressure of liquid change in temperature and pressure change in temperature change in temperature and pressure change in temperature and pressure and similarly one more point i can say change in hydrostatic pressure change in hydrostatic pressure change in hydrostatic pressure these are the different reason for the formation of bubble if bubble forms in the liquid and finally according to this theory uh, entire property of the liquid dielectric material is getting spoiled moreover there is one condition there is one condition for liquid dielectric breakdown that condition i'll be i'll be writing uh, voltage drop along with the length of bubble voltage drop voltage drop voltage drop along with voltage drop along with length of bubble length of bubble equals to equals to minimum value equals to minimum value of voltage in the passion curve voltage in the passion curve passion curve yesterday i have discussed about passion curve that is the graph between breakdown voltage against distance in that you are able to calculate minimum value of breakdown voltage so that you can calculate passion curve from the passion curve so voltage drop along with the length of bubble is directly equal to the minimum value of breakdown voltage in the passion curve then what will happen we can uh, say that a uh, bubble theory is applicable in case of liquid dielectric material this is the condition this is a basic condition for occurrence of uh, bubble theory and uh, as a result of bubble theory uh, entire breakdown of liquid dielectric material will be taken place okay this is actually regarding bubble theory cavitation and bubble theory okay uh, but there are certain drawbacks there are certain drawbacks in the cavitation and bubble theory they are they have mentioned about because of bubble Uh, the breakdown will be taken place but they could not give the scientific explanation how the bubbles will be forming they have given some certain conditions the certain condition uh, have been given but unfortunately uh, they were not able to give the scientific reason uh, when the bubble will forms how the bubble will forms those kind of things are not directly mentioned that was the main drawback of this theory moreover uh, theoretical value as well as practical values are not tally that is also another drawback of this theory but some extent we can uh, recognize this theory that means because of bubble uh, inside the liquid dielectric material leads uh, dielectric breakdown of a particular liquid dielectric material those can be accepted but uh, the the scientific reason cannot be accepted directly that is the main drawback of this theory okay that is regarding cavitation and bubble theory 
hope you uh, hope you could understand some points regarding cavitation and bubbles theory let me conclude the session uh, thanks for watching this video please share and subscribe thank you very much